I think that my sound has changed a lot over the years because now I'm starting to find more of my, I guess, artistic purpose. And that's translated into my music as well, where if they're gonna listen to my songs, I want them to take away something hopeful, something they can learn from. What I felt with the previous recordings of her is that there were a lot of elements that clashed with her vocals, not giving her the, the, the space that she deserves. Since leaving the label and becoming independent, she's turned that less mature sound into something that's, that's much more mature sounding, and she's now backing it with the message behind her music. She's had to take on more responsibility and also be more serious, so making sure that the music and the content she creates is in line with her values and herself. With the style of music and, uh, and the message that she's putting forward, I think it can be a pretty broad audience, but people with more of a mature palette for music would, would be more interested in it than a younger audience necessarily. Yeah, and I think it just became more obvious to talk about something that I'd actually lived and not create a bunch of fancy stats around music and its politics, so. So I met Chris in university at Concordia. I loved his company and he just kind of sat there with me most days and even in silence, but just that he was there meant a lot. You know, whether it's failed relationships uh, romantically or, you know, with your family or your friends, it's like, that's part of your story. And I believe that what Rosie is doing is that she's She's sharing her story and it allows people to realize that they have a story to share. He was a big part of me surviving that <laughs> and being able to show up to school and cry about things at night and then go back to school the next day and work through a lot of my other issues outside of the home life. And he was kind of just there for all of it. We had this very uh, untraditional, I suppose, <laughs> way of hanging out. We would just sit in the car right there like creepers overlooking the park. <laughs> Pretty much right there. We would just park the car and sit there and talk for like two hours. A lot of uh, career stuff. Career stuff, uh, life direction. Are we gonna make it in life? You know, like, <laughs> are we just kind of sinking and gonna continue sinking? I think there's a lot of counseling, home life counseling. This house is not a home. To hell with it. Wow, I haven't been here for so long, it's crazy. What does it feel like? I mean, I get goosebumps a little, to be honest, because it's a little bittersweet. But tell me why is mine so broke? Yeah, I'm yeah. this is it. I don't know how much you can actually get of it, but... The thought of moving at one point was really overwhelming. It was just, wow, I've grown up in this one place. To leave behind so many years worth of memories is a little much. I think it'll be emotional for her. I think throughout the day she'll most likely be thinking about it, but I think it's gonna be, it's a good thing too, to come back. And I think that's the kind of the, the beautiful thing about Rosie is that her character makes you feel like you've known her for a long time. I don't know if you guys experienced that for yourself, yeah. Cause she's very open and so she doesn't really hold it back too much. My confidence is not where it should be. So I think that not resolving this is, is gonna just make the process a lot longer. So I need to get past that, that anger or that resentment. In a lot of ways she remained the same, but in other ways she's matured and I think it's helped her to um, write songs that she has never written before in a style that she's never written before. Uh, I believe that it's helped her to uh, be even more compassionate with the young children that she's teaching. I believe uh, she's able to listen to others more. I think without Chris, I wouldn't have turned out the way that I did right now because I really needed a friend. But I think more than anything, just having someone there to stick with you through that really difficult time. And I think if Chris wasn't there at the time that he was, that 
I would have been another stereotype. The amazing thing is how well she came out of it. Although it has taken its toll on her, she's here and she's laughing and she's having fun. And, and I believe that music was a big part of that. <laughs> <laughs>